definitely makes it look like it's going to give out some crazy fast internet speeds. What's up everybody? Another day at work. Uh, you know, it's life for me, I guess. Today I'm getting to do something that I'm actually excited about. Office that's right by the new Atlanta Braves Stadium. They have the new coax gigabit service from Comcast. Uh, there's a coax version that's a little cheaper than the actual fiber version, but either way you're getting gig speeds. Now when they came out a few weeks ago to set everything up, we didn't have our firewall at the time. Now we have our firewall, it's back here beside my bag. Uh, but when Comcast came out, they also gave us a router, and it's like the only router that supports the connection. Now, this whole office is actually going to get a ubiquity system, which is going to be amazing. They want a guest wireless because they're going to have a whole, like, cafe area. So, but wait one second. There we go. This. This big thing. Uh, this is a Nighthawk. X6 AC3200 tri-band Wi-Fi router model R8000. This thing's a beast, okay? You can like tell by the box and just by the look of this thing. If I'm not mistaken, Nighthawks are either $299 or $399. You'll see a pop-up with the actual price because I want it to be in here. I'm going to do that. When I set this router up, this router should support most of the uh, gig speed, although my phone maxes out at I think 866 megs, my laptop I believe maxes out before that, so I'm not really going to see a gig speed, I don't believe, but it's going to be the fastest wireless that I've gotten my hands on really. I'll do an unboxing on this beast, and uh, I'll do a little screen record on my laptop like I did last time, with a little voiceover telling you, you know, what to do and how to set it up and whatnot. Good old construction zone. It's looking good in there though. I'm uh, really excited to get this puppy set up. Alright, so this may be another dud. The uh, painting was literally finished today. They're waiting on the door to dry before they can clean out our network closet. So I'm not certain if I'm doing anything today. say this thing is really cool um, these are a little directional they only go that way though you can't go this way they go that way the middle ones um, don't go either direction um, and then the front ones are the same way as the back ones where they don't go to the left but they come all the way out like this so if you set it up per their design something like this which is uh definitely makes it look like it's going to give out some crazy fast internet speeds right here on the tops are led on off switch usb 2 and 3 on off switch for the device internet port and our four gigabit ports here's all your indicators on the front 5 gigahertz 1 2 usb 3 and then all the ports wi-fi on it's very very nice router. love it Now, for most of you, this cable will come from your Comcast modem to your router. For us, it's actually going into the firewall here, and then we'll put it right into the bright yellow port and on the back of the network. Last but not least, the other end of the power cable goes right there beside the USB 3 port. 
as I was saying, this is a slightly different setup. Just a reminder, your internet port, most likely at your house, will go, this cable will plug in here and go to the back of your Comcast modem. This is a gigabit network, so there's two. It's a little more complicated, but either way, just make sure your cable goes from your version of your Comcast, AT&T, whatever modem, directly into the yellow port right here on the back of the Netgear device. So if you don't want to use a wireless, just plug your network cable into any of these four ports. That cable should run down right to your laptop, as long as you have the proper network adapter for your laptop. So this is telling you that an existing router or gateway is on your network. That is actually your Comcast or AT&T modem. So click Help Me Choose and select Next. This is just giving you an idea of exactly how your network is set up. Internet to the existing router and your other one is plugged into it. This is asking if you need any advanced features port forwarding. Most likely not. Select No and Next. This is just telling you to change all of your ports from your existing modem over to the router. Now this is going to set it up in access point mode, which is really preferred. That was why that I selected yes, and I disabled the existing gateway on the Comcast wireless uh, because I no longer needed two wireless devices handing out wireless. Enter in your SSID and password. The router will likely need to reboot. And after a quick reboot, your internet connection should be up and running. Right there you will see your SSID and password. They're of course blanked out on my end. And then you can uncheck both of those check marks unless that you actually need them and you can select next to go ahead and update the firmware on the device. After the firmware update, you should be up and running. This here was a speed test done on the laptop as well. I'm getting a 12 millisecond ping, which is pretty fast, 92 megs down and 37 up. So you notice those speeds were not correct, but I noticed that these are only 5E cables, cat 5E. And this one is also CAT 5 so I'm going to put some CAT 6 cables here, which is coming from the Comcast modem to the other device, and from that device to our firewall to see if we get more speed. So now we're actually going to test the wireless. You can see here that's, um, well, beside connected, that's the IP address, and beside that is the name of the company. But I have an 866 meg connection, probably 30 some odd feet. Um, Right there on the other side of that wall, there, is where the um, router actually is. So from standing over here in the corner, as far as I can be in this point, let's see, uh, let's see what we get. Results earlier before I switched the cables. So let me uh, take this down. There we go. So now we're getting 200 megs. Not the full gig, but I know that there's something with how it has to provision after a certain amount of time so it could be that it could also be settings in our firewall there's a few reasons why we could not be getting the full gig here um all right let me move to somewhere else which is at 866 and at this point the the router is on the other side of the wall way back there on the other end of my finger i'm about to go over to this corner feed over here It seemed to be about the same. I'm not sure what my device will support. I thought it would support a full 866, but I'm at least not getting that now. But I didn't even get a gig cabled and, and have even when you pay for it. I don't know. So I'm upstairs, pretty sure the router is right here beneath us. From at least what I know. Let's test. See, my signal strength isn't as strong up here. And my results look like they're going to be close to the same. So close to the same as I was getting. Oh, so this wireless is actually only to cover this downstairs area. 
all the way, all the way over there, and all the way over there, and all the way on the other side of this building. So they should be, they should be good to go. They need the wireless in the one. They need the wireless in the one spot. Um, like I said, mainly that area over there. Like they're gonna have like a coffee area set up and stuff. So you can come here in the morning, you can get your coffee, use the free internet real quick, and head on out. So for that area, it's gonna be phenomenal. So I think we're good. This thing is like a fan. Like, seriously. Five, it is a 55, 50. So I think that'll do it. This, uh, this Nighthawk is set up. It's working as you can see. Sorry about that I couldn't show you the other ways to set it up. Basically just because I can't make that happen here because of this firewall. Either way, you should be able to follow the steps that are that you saw me take uh, because most AT&T and Comcast modems have Wi-Fi built in. So you'll get the exact same prompts if you buy one of these and you have AT&T or Comcast. Definitely if you have Comcast. And other than that, there you can access it by the IP address and do everything yourself. Again, sorry I couldn't show that portion for you. I have to literally take it home to show you that. Give the video a like though if you can, click the subscribe button for me as well because hopefully this video helped you out because I think some people will be setting these things up in the near future. So I will see you guys and gals tomorrow. Have a good one. And deuces. I got this giant thing of bubble wrap to take home. It's like freaking huge. Love it. Kaylee's going to go crazy.